I'm Emily and today we're at the Creighton University College of Business with Bev Crocker and today we're going to be talking about the Tiger Woods scandal as it relates to business ethics. So Bev, what's interesting in the news today about business ethics? You know, a lot of the business people I've been talking to have been talking about Tiger Woods. Uh, he's an icon, he's been a role model for us. Uh, some people say that he changed the sport of golf and other people go even grander and say he's changed the, the business of sport itself. And uh, now uh, he's in the news, not because of the golfing that he's done, but because uh, of the possible infidelities and the lying that's attached to that. So what are the ethical implications of this then? Good one. So in the discipline of business ethics, we think about two things. We think about explaining actions and justifying actions. So I'm going to start with the explanation. You know, what would make Tiger Woods do this kind of stuff? And here I'm talking about the, the possible infidelity and the lying. Um, uh, you look at the fact that other people do these things, and that could explain why somebody does it also. You look at the fact that systems might be set up in uh, ways that um, allow people to do unethical thing, things. Um, weakness of will could be another thing. Maybe you know he just doesn't have a strong character, and that could explain it. Um, but I would say in this case, the aspect of him being a celebrity is probably the most important thing to think about when it comes to causing this kind of behavior. You know, there are a lot of psychological studies that show that celebrities just feel like they're above the fray. You know, they're invincible. And uh, the law applies to other people, but it doesn't apply to me. And it could very well be the case that uh, Tiger Woods' celebritiness, I'm going to make up that word, um, I think that that could explain um, why he's doing what he's doing. So I'd say the lesson here for all of us with regards to, you know, uh, the causes of these kinds of actions is to, you know, be careful of the trappings of power. And this could happen to any one of us. And be on guard against uh, the arrogance that comes along with us. Uh, be confident, but not arrogant. And, um, and I think then we'll all act more appropriately rather than not. Definitely. What about the justification aspect? So the justification comes in not asking what causes the action, but what justifies us saying that it's right or wrong. And so um, here you have to ask yourself, what's your moral compass? What's the perspective that you use in order to evaluate actions? And uh, uh, so it all depends on your camp. Utilitarians are people that think mostly in terms of consequences of actions. And uh, if you're a utilitarian, you might argue that um, uh, maybe uh, he's okay uh, because there are other things that he's done in his life, a foundation that he's created, that have created really good consequences. And maybe those good consequences override the negativity of everything he that he's done in the recent past. Um, there's another camp uh, for ethics and business ethics, and they're called deontologists. And they're people that think more about duties and obligations rather than consequences. And I'll bet my bottom dollar that they would say that, you know, he, it seems that he's broken his promises to his wife, to his kids, to all the kids in the world that watch golf. And by breaking those promises, we will say he's no longer a role model and he's not worthy of our admiration. He's done something wrong. I'm what you call a virtue ethicist, and uh, I concentrate more on being a certain kind of person than an action is flowing from that. And so the question that's usually asked by a virtue ethicist in this case is, is he honorable? So we ask, is Ty Tiger Woods an honorable man? And I'm going to leave that up to uh, the people watching this video to answer for themselves. Um, but what I would say is I'd go back to a lesson that my mom taught me years ago, which is, um, you know, uh, care less about judging other people and care more about using uh, their actions to look back on yourself and think about who you are. Um, so 
uh, I'm going to use the Tiger Wood experience to think about myself and whether my, my uh, actions and deeds have been honorable and noble and then go about fixing myself rather than spending my time talking about whether he's a, a scum or whether he's uh, an honorable person. And I really do think that if we all spend more time uh, reflecting on ourselves and less time judging other people, the world and the business world will be a much better place. Hopefully. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to follow us on Twitter, stop by our blog, or start up a conversation with us on Facebook.